Hey everyone, today we'll be going over data structures and algorithms and we'll be covering 52 chapters in under 5 minutes and without any further hesitation, let's get started. Data structures and algorithms is a study of how we can effectively parse data utilizing data structures and algorithms. We measure efficiency using big O notation. We will first start off with big O notation, then data structures, and finally algorithms. And this is big O notation with its different levels. Constant means the task always takes the same amount of time no matter how big the input gets. Logarithmic means the task becomes harder as the input gets larger. Linear means the task gets harder directly in proportion to the size of the input. Linear arithmetic means the task becomes harder as the input gets larger, but we have the growth increasing steadily, but not too rapidly. Quadratic means the task becomes harder as the input gets larger, growing at the square of the input size, like nested loops. Exponential means the task becomes extremely hard as the input grows, doubling in difficulty with each additional input. Factorial means the task becomes impossibly hard as the input grows. And this is data structures with its different levels. Arrays are a collection of elements stored in contiguous memory locations, allowing for fast access using an index. A linked list is a sequence of nodes where each node contains a value and a reference to the next node. Then we have stacks, which are a collection of elements following last in, first out principle. We have various actions within our stack. We have push, pop, and peak. Queues are a collection of elements following first in, first out. Then we have hash tables, which map keys to values using a hash function. Then we have trees, a hierarchical structure with a root node, and branches, edges, and children nodes. Then we have graphs, where they are a collection of nodes, vertices, connected by edges, directed or undirected, weighted or unweighted. Then we have binary search trees. They are a specialized tree, where each node has at most two children, and the left child contains smaller values, while the right child contains larger values. We will be going over three types of algorithms searching, sorting, and traversing. And these are the eight searching algorithms we'll go over. Linear search is a simple search algorithm that checks each element in a list sequentially until the target is found or the list ends. In binary search, it is an effective algorithm that divides a sorted list in half repeatedly to locate the target. Depth for search, we explore as far down a branch as possible before backtracking, commonly used in graphs or trees. In breadth for search, we explore all neighbors at the current level before moving to the next level. Then we have jump search, where it is a a search algorithm that skips ahead by fixed intervals in a sorted list, then performs a linear search in the identified range. Then we have exponential search, where we locate a range where the target might exist by doubling the step size, then applying binary search. Then we have interpolation search, a search algorithm for sorted data that estimates the position of the target based on its value. Then we have ternary search, which divides the range into three parts and eliminates one third at each step used for unimodal functions. In these these are the 10 sorting algorithms we'll go over. In bubble sort, we are repeatedly swapping adjacent elements if they are in the wrong order until the list is sorted. Then we have selection sort, where we are repeatedly selecting the smallest element and place it in the correct position. Then we have insertion sort, where we build the sorted list one element at a time by inserting each item in its proper position. We divide the list into halves, sort them recursively, and merge the sorted halves. Merge sort divides the list into halves, sorts them recursively, and merges the sorted halves. Then we have quick sort where we select a pivot, portion the list, and sort it recursively. Then we have heap sort, where we convert the list into a binary heap structure that repeatedly extracts the maximum or minimum element. And then we have radix sort, where we sort numbers by processing individual digits, starting from the least significant to the most significant. Then we have counting sort, where we are counting the occurrence of each element and place them in the correct order. Then we have bucket sort, which divides the element into buckets and sorts each bucket individually. Then we have shell sort, where it is a variation of insertion sort, that allows the exchange of far apart elements. And these are the 13 traversing algorithms we'll go over. We have in order traversal, where we visit nodes in order from left, root, and right. In our pre order traversal, we visit nodes in the order root, left, and right. In post order traversal, we visit the nodes in the order left, right, root. Depth for search traversal explores as far down a branch as possible before backtracking, commonly used in grass or trees. Then we have breadth for search traversal, which explores all the neighbors at the current level before moving to the next level. Then we have backtracking traversal, where we explore for all possible paths and backtracks when a path leads to a dead end. Then we have a star search algorithm, which uses heuristics to find the shortest path. Then we have discharge algorithm, which finds the shortest path from a source node to all other nodes in a graph. Then we have prims algorithm, which finds a minimum spanning tree for a weighted graph. Then we have Kruskal's algorithm, which finds a minimum spanning tree by sorting edges and connecting nodes with the smallest weights. Then we have Eulerian path slash circuit, which determines if a graph has a path or circuit that visits every edge exactly once. Then we have Hamilton path slash circuit, which determines if a graph has a path or a circuit that visits every vertex exactly once. Hey everyone, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure to feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, please put them in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.